Shalom Amit, how are you? Hi, good morning. We have some water in honor of you on the table. <laughs> but it's not, it's not as good as our water. No, it's not. Exactly. It's not. Um, so it's interesting, you know, growing up in Israel, we all know that, like, you don't leave the water on running. You know, it's, uh, we, we, we grow up acknowledging the fact that there could be water shortage. Though I think in recent years, there's so many technologies and things that have been developed that it's not so much so, right, anymore? Yeah, actually in the last decade, I can say that the shift to desalination uh, actually, actually abolished the, 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 the fear of scarcity. There will be no more scarcity in uh, water in Israel. Right. Um, so it's interesting, we, uh, we had a conversation before and you, uh, I, I learned that you guys invest in, in startups that have to do with the ecosystem of, of water, etc., which is a, su a surprising move because, you know, y y people imagine it as just some sort of like a bureaucratic organization. Well, uh, it's not surprising for me. Uh, I'll tell you, it's a part of a, uh, a whole strategy of keeping and preserving uh, Mekorot as the best utility water supply in the world. Uh, I don't know if people know, but Mekorot, uh, compared to any benchmark of a utility water supplier in the world, is by far better. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Uh, there is a thing that's called uh, water loss in the system. Every system that, f that uh, um, transmits something uh, gas, oil, and, and of course water, has a loss in the system, in big systems. Well, the average in the OECD uh, of water systems is about 15%. Here in the US, it goes up to 20, 30, and sometimes 40%. In Mekorot, it's four, less than 4%. Wow. Mekorot has outstanding performances, as I, as I mentioned, compared to any benchmark you can uh, think about. It's the only utility in the world that uh, integrated different sources of water into a unified system. Groundwater, surface water, desalinated water, of course. And you cannot do all of this without being in the cutting edge technology, using the cutting edge technology. So to do this, we have to invest. We invest, by the way, half a billion dollars every year in the infrastructure. Wow. And and also in technology okay. combined. And uh, can you give us an example of a firm that you invest in that's innovative, yeah. that's groundbreaking? Actually, we are not a financial investor. We are strategic. It's, it's strategic, obviously. Uh, so our portfolio, uh, we have currently something like 10 uh, startups which we invested in. Uh, all of them are pro proved to be synergetic to our activity. But, and it can be in uh, different aspects of our activity. It's uh, cyber security uh, to make sure that the system is not a uh, harm. Uh, Which is interesting, and we, we had a discussion. So, uh, by the way, a few years ago, I lived in South Florida, and there was a hurricane, and there was no electricity, and then there was no water. Yeah. So the toilets are stuck, the water is stuck, this is and in Israel, it's not the situation. Yeah, this is another example why I say that McCourt is the best utility in the world, because when there are power outages, there's almost no, not a case which Mekorot will not supply the water. But are there cyber, uh, it's, it's Iran, of, or are there attacks against water systems? It, it's, it's a combination of, uh, of uh, 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 big redundancy in the system, a lot of backups, and a smart, very smart management of the system, which you can always bring water from other source uh, to bypass the problem and to challenge the, the scarcity in the, in the spot. Right. Any other, you have another example of a, of a company? Yeah, sure. For, for, so, so, talked about cyber, but it can be also the treatment of water. For example, Mekorot uh, has to put chlorine in the water. This is the case in Israel. Mm -hmm. Chlorine. Chlorine, again. And it's a dangerous uh, material. Chemical. Uh, it's a chemical. It's uh, very bureaucratic to move it and to deal with it. It's very well, dangerous. We found, yeah. we found a small startup that can do this chlorine on the site 
without using any uh, transportation, without using any, uh, any uh, outside materials, from the water itself, using some uh, salt, salt for, for uh, cooking. Okay. Right? So basically, in some kind of a procedure, the water itself creates, yeah, creates the, the chlorine. chlorine on site. That's amazing. It's amazing. Wow, wow. Um, and internationally, you mentioned it just a bit, but many countries around the world come to you or you go to them and ask and seek for advice. Can you give us an example of a country around the world that you, know, that, that, that you, you advised or even, you know? Yeah, actually, we are not going to them. They're coming to us. <laughs> And, we uh, say in Hebrew, because, because in Hebrew, the, the rabbi, you want yeah, the rabbi, you come exactly. to the rabbi. Uh, because of the outstanding performance, we get a lot of approaches from everywhere. Um, we are now currently working in uh, 10 provinces in Argentina, in Paraguay, in Peru. Uh, on in, in the other hand, on the other side of the world, we are working in Azerbaijan, in Kazakhstan. Uh, we had, uh, before the war, connections with Morocco and Bahrain. Uh, and just recently, uh, the Emirates uh, contacted us to, to try and see if uh, there is something we can do about their aquifers. Right. And, and, then, and then, so what, what do you see that's different in each country about their systems and how, how can well, you it's, help in them? Well, in each country, the problems are different. Okay. But if I try to say what's the common, uh, the common ground for everyone, is a very um, old and fashionable way uh, of management of the system and not planning for decades ahead, mm -hmm. while McCourt is planning always decades ahead. Right. So, so during um, you know, the war, past more than a year and a half, how did you have to shift your work or enable you know, the, the, the water to continue um, the services to continue? Yeah, well, actually, it was tough in the beginning okay. because a lot of our employees, our great employees, by the way, which are one of the pillars of our excellency, uh, were recruited, and mm -hmm. some of them were uh, uh, evacuated from their houses because of, the, uh, because of the places that we were living in. But still, their commitment and uh, the resilience of the, of the system and me and my management thought that we should go on and keep on doing as best we can. Uh, we keep on everything, uh, try to keep everything as usual. And actually, there was no water, uh, no, no water outages and during all those crises uh, the, the last two years. Um, and it's uh, pretty amazing. So, I mean, that's very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing Thank what you. you do. And, um, and we should have... Uh, success in those in those startups and uh, and lots of innovation thank, thank you, so you very much. much for you and the crowd and of course the organizers of this great event uh, eli and uh, in and you of course thank you very much thank you